Hey ladies, so this video of how to do your non-dominant hand, it's going to be showing you on one nail um, how I do the entire acrylic process using my non-dominant hand. Uh, stay tuned if you want to see how I apply acrylic with my non-dominant hand. Okay, so I'm back. So the first thing I'm going to do is sanitize my hands. Very important. Um, to do my nail prep, the first thing I'm going to do is uh, after I've sanitized my hands, or you could wash them with soap and water, I remove the cuticles by using a cuticle remover. I'm going to apply it just a dab to each cuticle area. Um, I'm going to use a cuticle pusher. But I, what I do is I hold it. I hold it kind of like I'm pinching this. Hold the bottom of my nail and the top of my, I can't even do it, index finger to push back the cuticles around the cuticle. I'm going to use my nippers. I'm going to keep these almost all the way closed. Gently go down the nail on each side. So I'm going to pull all of uh, or nip very carefully the cuticle area around my nail. And when I'm done with that, I'm going to take a solution of alcohol and water. I find that it's, I like it to be a bit more mild than what people normally do. Some people just use regular alcohol or you could go wash your hands. I just spray it a few times and then I wipe it dry. You want your nail to be completely cleansed and free of any debris or anything that might mess with your um, dehydrator or primer. Now I'm going to do this on these three fingers and I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back. I have done everything I need to do with these three nails. What I'm going to do is I'm taking my file and I'm going to gently buff off any of the natural shine. So I'm just doing it very carefully. And you will notice sometimes I get out of, kind of out of whack when I'm doing this. <laughs> You'll notice I move my hand instead of the file. Um, and it's just because I get moving so fast. So you will see that occasionally. Um, going to remove any dust so I'm going to take my tip and I'm actually doing a almond shape this time I'm, I may do this just a stiletto type almond shape that's squared at the top so I'm gonna go ahead and do that I'm gonna glue on the tip as I take this hurry up nail glue dryer do quick spritz take my brush on glue Actually, I do have these for sale in my store envy. Um, if you guys would like to get some clear um, almond or stiletto shapes, so I'm gonna go ahead and apply this. But there you go. Do one more little spritz to dry any glue out that may have seeped out, and there you go. That's applying the tip. So I'm gonna do it to these three nails. I'm gonna finish that, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I am back, and what I've done is I have applied and shaped all of my tips on all fingers. And I've also quickly buffed the tip so it is no longer shiny, and blended the tip just a little bit. And I'm going to spray all my nails with IBD Nail Prep Dehydrator. i wait till that turns chalky. It's turning chalky right now. Okay. Sped that up a little bit by blowing on it. So I'm going to take my IBD Natural Nail Primer and I lightly do a quick coat. Do not touch the cuticles. So now that's done. I'm going to let this dry. Apply the second coat and I will be back. Okay so I'm back. I have primed all of my nail beds. Um, I have also mixed up while I was waiting for them to dry, a nude, a peachy nude color, cover pink, and then I also made just a silver holographic fine glitter mix. I have my monomer and I have my brush. So, what I do is I take my right hand, my dominant hand, and I go ahead and pick up my ball. This, I believe this makes I have more control when I do it this way and I'm not, you know, dropping it everywhere. So I have my ball in this hand. I switch hands 
flip it over and then I just apply it like normal. Now I'm trying to get this all on film and also I gotta really concentrate for this hand but um, for this video I'll show you guys I guess the reverse. So it's really not too much harder than just regular um, just applying a solid color so Okay, so go around the edges, around the cuticles. I'm a bit messier on this hand. I don't get as much lifting because I like to clean it up as I go, but sometimes it does happen. So if you were to do the reverse method, you would just apply it like normal. And you see it kind of, my brush, I'm a little bit harder with this one because it's kind of like I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> with my hand anyway, it's my hand doesn't know what to do. <laughs> but there you go, that would be like doing the reverse. But for this design, I'm, I'm just doing a really simple design for this next, you know, after 4th of July. And I'm gonna do a lot of painted on nail art. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick up another ball. I'll show you guys one more time to do the complete nail. So I picked up another ball, I'm gonna switch hands, flip it over, and then I'm going to apply to my free edge and blend that together. Okay. Now I like to do when I do it, um, I do like to start off with my pinkies because I feel like um, when I'm filing I like them to be drier first or dry the fastest that way when I get back to them when I'm ready to file I just get it over with because I don't have something to lean my pinky on so I kind of get I don't know nervous and I like to do my non-dominant hand first and not only does that um, get it out of the way for me I guess it's it's more of like um, whatever design I'm doing if I could do it on my non-dominant hand I know that I could do it on my dominant with my dominant hand on the other side so that's one way of kind of me testing myself. If I feel like I can't do the design on my left hand, you know, you could always do a design that's really awesome on your right hand, or I'm sorry, on your non-dominant hand, um, with your dominant hand. And when you switch and use your non-dominant hand, it just, the design just, you can't recreate it. It doesn't look very good. So I like to do my right hand, because I am right-handed, I like to do that one first. Not only to get out of the way, but to make sure my design is going to look okay. Okay. I'm going to pick up one more smaller ball and I'm going to blend everything together. I'm going to, I bend my finger down a little bit so I could get into the cuticle area without actually touching the skin and causing lifting. So I go, kind of use a Tammy Taylor left, right, center. Pat it in place and smooth it the best you can. You want to take your time doing your non-dominant hands. See, I'm picking up more balls than I normally would with my other hand. I mean, the other hand I would probably do three max. You know, one for the nail bed, one or two for the um, free edge if I'm doing a, a tip a different color, um, and then one more wet one to blend them together or get closer to the cuticle um, but yeah that's um that is my pinky and this is pretty much done there is my first nail that is done I'm gonna go ahead and do these three I'm doing this one in the transparent um, very light shimmer um, silver holographic and I will be right back once the, the acrylic is laid to show you how I file. Okay, I am back. I have applied acrylic to all four of my nails. I'm gonna go ahead and take my 100 uh, by 180. Um, I'm sorry, this is 100 by 100. I'm gonna take my file and I'm going to gently release any acrylic that is on my skin. And I'm going to gently file and shape that on each side. 
And I'm also going to, I'm going to have to turn it this way so I can see what I'm doing, guys. But I'm just doing a square so it's going to be flat on my nail. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to change out my bit. And um, I'm turning my drill on rather low. I'm just gonna go around the cuticle for my pinky, and this is the hardest one for me on each hand, actually, because I have nowhere to rest it. What I do is I turn my drill on, and I hold my thumb flat on my other side, and I kind of, like if I'm paring an apple, if I'm peeling an apple with a knife, that's how I do it on this nail. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys really quickly. So it is very low. So I'm turning and angling my nail to gently get into the cuticle area and I like to go one direction if I can. I guess on this side I try to gently go in the same direction. Okay, and from here I'm just going to quickly file any bumps or lumps that does. Okay. So that's really all that I did for, for this nail. I'm going to go ahead and lightly shape this nail again. And then I'm going to quickly and gently buff to make the nail smooth. You see, when I turn it around, when I've got one area that I know I have to go over, more than other areas, I will just hold my file straight and I will essentially rub my hand that I am filing onto the file. All right, so that's pretty much it for that nail. Um, I'm going to remove the dust and apply top coats and cure for two minutes in a UV lamp. But that's pretty much it. I mean, I might just going on over a few more times to make sure that the cuticle area is flush and looking good. But I'm gonna go ahead and do this on these fingers. I am going to um, do a top coat and then I will uh, in any nail art really, and then I will be back. All right. So I'm back. I have um, finished filing and I have applied a coat of glaze and go. So now my last step is going to be using some cuticle oil. To hydrate all of my cuticles that may have got scuffed up while I was filing. And I'd like to apply more than less especially on my right hand. All right, so I'm gonna rub them, rub it, everything in. Okay, so I'm done. Um, this is um, my right hand. Here's my left, here's my wedding band. <laughs> so um, yeah, this that is how I do my nails on my non-dominant hand. Yeah, that is how I do my non-dominant hand. It does take me a little bit longer, but you know, um, I do like to take my time and make sure that I'm not, you know, cutting my my cuticles and I'm I don't have to do too much extra filing. So, yeah, that is my semi short tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you haven't done so already, please comment, rate, and subscribe if you would. And I'll talk to you next time. Bye, ladies.